Hey guys, if you're thinking of planning your own pop-up or vendor event, today's video will be your guide to help keep your event on point with the setup, must-have essentials, and pricing for your menu. These tips can be used for indoor or outdoor events so you can beat the heat even in this summer weather. To see how I made all the recipes for my menu, you'll want to watch part 2 of this pop-up mini-series. All the products I used for the setup will be linked down in the description box below. And be sure to download my pop-up checklist so you have everything prepared for your fabulous event. So let's create something magical! When hosting outdoor events, a canopy tent is optional to stand out and make your booth look cute, yet helpful to shield your treats from the sun. Here are some options of what is most and least affordable. The white tent is the same version as mine with the windows at less than half the price. I ordered the pink tent a few weeks ago and unfortunately since then the price has increased by 25%. You definitely save more money when purchasing these items off season. But if you need them last minute, these are the current prices on Amazon. To compare the difference, it's crazy how you can even buy a large 7 wall white tent for the same price of the pink tent. I definitely suggest leaving yourself enough time to set up at the destination, especially if you're including a tent and backdrop. Give yourself a few hours in advance for that and have a few buddies to help set up your tent since the task can take three to four people to assemble all the corners of the base. Now for the inside, you will also need a table and coolers. A six foot table is a good standard size and it's optional to add an extra table on the side to place an ice table on. This is especially a good idea to keep your treats on display and cool at the same time while they're out for several hours without hiding them in all the coolers because they want to chill and be on display as part of the fun. The packaging and placement of the display are important elements to grab the customer's attention. Arranging treats on levels with clear acrylic risers draw more attention to the presentation instead of having everything flat on the table. And another essential clear piece is a clear bakery case. This one from Amazon has three levels with removable trays and twin doors. Clear pieces are always a clean and elegant way to showcase all your work, making them a worthwhile investment. I found this super cute mini cake stand at Home Goods to store some samples in for my cheesecake cups and banana pudding. Offering samples may incline a customer to buy more items if they really liked a certain flavor. Don't forget to provide some mini spoons and regular sized disposable spoons as well. As for packaging, I used 12 ounce clear cups with lids for my cheesecake cups and small clamshell containers to fit a 4 pack of strawberries. They were from my local party store, I'll try to link a similar one in the description box. This one is a larger size for 6 strawberries and a more dressed up option are these gold treat boxes. Guys, say hola to my abuelita, she was watering her plants in the garden while I was filming this. The fun part is the backdrop and table setting. My white taffeta tablecloth was this one from Amazon. I really liked the crinkle effect in the tablecloth. And the custom table runner, I was very pleased with the quality. It was from Carbon Graphic Design Store on Etsy. All you need to do is select custom logo and custom color, then message them your logo and an example of the background color that you want. Then add your social media handles for Instagram or Facebook. The service was very fast and professional. They send you a proof for you to make revisions and approve before printing the final runner so you know how it's going to look. Another must have for any event are logo sticker labels. I ordered some from Etsy and they were never sent out, so I went to Staples instead and made my own with their Avery labels. The instructions on the package are to go on the Avery website and type in the product code, then set up a free account to create your design with their software. It's super easy, you can do this on your phone at Staples and they'll print them right in the store. The stickers are also available in a round or oval shape depending on what best fits your logo. The paper has a glossy finish to it and it's perfect to stick on your berry cups or cheesecake cups to give an extra touch to your packaging. 
The backdrop is another optional item, but it adds so much to the atmosphere of the whole event. Here are boxwood grass panels that I snapped together and zip tied to a backdrop stand. You can choose whichever backdrop aesthetic you are going for. It's a worthwhile investment to have a stand for parties or events and just switch out your different backdrops. The only item that requires electricity is a neon sign to decorate. I tried to limit the electricity since outside your resources are limited. Just select the size that you prefer and personalize with your favorite font and color, then type in your business name. It's showtime! It's important that your forms of payment are fast, organized, and convenient by offering both cash and electronic options. This cash box is pretty in pink to coordinate with my theme. Have singles, fives, tens, and twenties in there, and a calculator to add up the totals, I mean, unless you're a math genius. And this strawberry jar from Michael's Craft Store is my little tip jar, because all my treat makers definitely deserve tips for all your hard work. For electronic payment, it's the most efficient to make a sign on Canva with your QR codes for Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, or Zelle, and add on your social media QR codes if you like. This is a free website for social media QR codes, some of them aren't free, and select the color to match the color theme of your design. Your personal QR codes for payments can be found in the official app of PayPal, Venmo, ETC, and put them right on your sign. To create the payment sign and menu, it's helpful to use a Canva template. Type in dessert menu on the website and so many menu templates come up. I like to keep mine simple with a few pictures. Then I put the menu inside of acrylic sign holders. The size is 8.5 by 11. So before printing the design, make sure to resize the file to 8.5 by 11 and adjust anything if needed. Now let's discuss pricing. Most of my cheesecake cups were $6 each, except if you make a Snickers flavor, put that at $6.50. The candy bars cost more than the other toppings. And the banana pudding is the lowest at $5. Since it doesn't have the cream cheese, it costs less to make. For strawberries, the ones coated with assorted toppings were $2 each. And pressed the berry cups with plain, dipped, and drizzled berries at approximately $1 per berry. Next, strawberry brownies are $3 each, and pretzels with toppings are $1.50 each. The last assorted essentials on the table are your business cards. These were made with Canva as well. I ordered them with the glossy paper option. And the others are water and hand sanitizer. If you prefer to sell your own water bottles, you can definitely do that. I chose to keep the water complimentary in a water dispenser. The last little details are labels. My favorite are chalkboard labels that I write on with a chalkboard pen from Dollar Tree. Instead of peeling them off the stickers, I folded them to use as place cards. Some similar ideas are a chalkboard stand or chalkboard easel sign. I hope you guys enjoyed setting up this pop-up event with me. Give this video a thumbs up if the tips were helpful for you. And leave a comment below if you're planning your own pop-up event. Don't forget to download your checklist so you remember exactly what you need. It's Christina here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.